Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Kumul Kapil Shekhavit and I hope you all are doing good. In this video under the SBSS tutorial series, I am going to discuss how to obtain inferential statistics. Okay, so as we know, first of all, you need to input your data file or input your data in the data view window. And in the previous video, I've already explained that there are various ways to import your data in data view window. Okay, so here I'm directly pasting my data in the data view window. So I've selected my data file and so as you can see, I have directly taken the data from Excel spreadsheet and pasted this in the data view window. Okay, so this is one of the ways to input your data in data view window. All right. Next, you need to specify your variables in the variable view window. Okay, so this here in the data view window, you can specify your variables. So the first one was date in case of my data set. So I have mentioned over here date, okay. Then respectively, I have mentioned all the variables. So Nifty is the dependent variable in my data set followed by gold, crude oil and natural gas as independent variables, okay. And here you can see in the type. So this date is not a string, it is a date. So I would select accordingly the format of the date. Okay, so in this manner, you can specify and categorize your all the variables. So once you have done this, the next thing is how to obtain inferential statistics. Okay, now suppose in this data set, your objective is to find out the relationship between dependent variable and the independent variables. That is, if you want to find out the relationship between Nifty with all the independent variables, in that case, you need to go to Analyze. Regression. You need to go to regression, then linear, okay? So here, as you can see, in this dialog box, you need to first drag your dependent variable over here, okay? So select your dependent variable, drag this dependent variable in this box, then drag all your independent variables, okay? All right, so once you have selected your dependent and independent variables, okay, you need to click on statistics. So the statistics box shows whether you want to obtain the regression coefficients, confidence intervals, covariance matrix, the R square value, descriptives, and all such statistics, okay? So if you want to obtain the value of confidence intervals, descriptives, R square value, estimates, then you can check these boxes, all right? And click on continue. Afterwards, so the main focus is to obtain the inferential statistics and how to interpret the same. You can then click on okay. All right, so as you can see, the results for the regression and inferential statistics are obtained. So you can see in the very first box, this shows the descriptive statistics, that is the mean standard deviation and the number of observation for Nifty, Gold, Crude Oil and Natural Gas. Okay, so these are the mean value, standard deviation values 
and the total number of observations in this data set were 409 okay the next box shows the correlation results okay so in the correlation box you can see the pearson correlation coefficient is calculated then the p value and the number of observations are shown okay now how do we interpret the results for the correlations or inferential statistics okay so have a look at the correlation value between this dependent variable nifty and independent variable code which is minus 0.419 okay so this value indicates that there is an inverse relationship between nifty and code and the degree of correlation is moderate okay similarly the correlation between crude oil and nifty is 0.234 so there is a positive correlation with a low degree of correlation which is 0.23 all right similarly you can interpret the correlation coefficient value between all these variables now have a look at another one the correlation between crude oil and natural gas is minus 0.368 so there is a negative relationship between natural gas and crude oil okay the next thing is whether this correlation between these variables is significant or not so for that you need to check the value of the p statistics as we know the thumb rule that if the probability value is less than 5% then the relationship is significant and if the probability value is more than 5% level of significance then the relationship is insignificant okay so if we look at nifty and gold the p value is 0.000 which is less than 5% so the correlation between gold and nifty which is minus 0.419 is significant whereas the p value between nifty and natural gas is 0.311 which is greater than 5% okay so this means that the relationship between nifty and natural gas is insignificant likewise you can interpret the correlation and their p values for all the variables okay you can have a look at another important output which is obtained that is the value of r square okay so the value of r square for this data set is 0.442 so this indicates that approximately 44% variation in the dependent variable which is nifty so 44% variations in nifty are explained by price of gold price of natural gas and price of crude oil okay so this is how you can interpret the results for inferential statistics and coefficient of determination okay you can also have a look at the adjusted r square value and the standard error of estimate okay so i hope you like the video please click on the subscribe button and thanks for watching and keep following have a good day